Good day traders, this is Stefanos on behalf of Tixi and in today's webinar we'll be giving a look back of the market for the week of the 3rd until the 7th of October. Looking at some of the highlights for over the course of the past week, shares of AMD tanked on Friday after the company issued a warning concerning drops in revenues. Meanwhile on the Forex front we had some steep drops with certain pairs as the NFP report comes out positive and traders start digesting the figures. But first a disclaimer, as always, please note that all of the ideas discussed in the webinar are my own opinions and do not make up for any form of investment, trading advice, neither any recommendations to buy or sell. You should always do your own research and due diligence before buying or selling any securities, financial products or instruments and whether you use any kind of trading strategies. Any information that relates to past performance is not indicative of future results. So looking at stocks, first things first, we mentioned AMD during the intro, so I'll briefly pull up the chart in front of you, so you can have it here as we cover some of the highlights for the week. Uh, now we mentioned during the intro, uh, the company came in and gave a grave warning with regards to its revenues, uh, and this pretty much happened on Friday. The company essentially came in and said that revenue will fall close to the region of 1 billion, uh, short of its previous guidance. And the reason for that is due to a slump in PC sales. Looking at the chart itself, uh, we can see the pretty. We had a pretty big gap down with the open on Friday. Yesterday we closed in, closed in the region of sixty-seven dollars, upper sixty-seven dollars, and we opened today uh, pretty much at sixty-three. Uh, so this makes me think that obviously the majority of shorting took place during the pre-market hours, hence why we have this uh, strong gap down with the open today. But as we can see, uh, short sellers are not done yet as prices are being pushed even further lower as we're now trading even $3 uh, below the, uh, the, the open from today. Percentage-wise, prices are down by more than 8% on the day. And this also impacted other stocks within the same sector, something that we call uh, or referred to as sector sympathy. So if we look at shares of NVIDIA as well, uh, which is also within the semiconductor sector, you can pretty much see that the, the chart is also uh, kind of mirroring what's happening with the AMD chart. Uh, prices are down by more than 5% on the day. And again, we had uh, the close yesterday around these levels. And with the open today, we had a strong gap down, opening 5% lower. Uh, another stock that was also impacted was shares of Intel Corporation. Uh, so we can have a look at that one as well. Again, similar story. We had a negative day yesterday and with the open, again, a strong strong gap down and prices are being pushed even further lower. Uh, so you can see the kind of scenario that sector sympathy, uh, the way it can play out on stocks that are found within the same sector. Uh, let's see if there's, we can also have a look at Micron technology, which was, yeah, also same, same picture uh, with the open. I mean, the gap down wasn't as strong, but as we can see with the open prices were pushed further down lower as well. Uh, so overall, Pretty bad day for semiconductor stocks as they're all down, uh, not just because of the fact that we had the news from AMD, but it was also likely one of the main reasons as to why. Uh, as if that wasn't enough, we also had the strong NFP reports, uh, which came out today. And this essentially reinforced the idea uh, that the Fed could carry on with the current rate hike cycle, something I'm sure a lot of traders have lost count of how many rate hikes we've had so far this year. And this was something that potentially weighed even further, not just on semiconductor stocks, but in the stock market in general. Uh, now this leads us to our next um, asset coverage, which is of course uh, Forex. And as we mentioned, we had the NFP report. And we're gonna be diving down into the, uh, the details as well. In the meantime, I'll just pull up the chart of the Euro dollar. Now, as for the actual figures, uh, the expectation for the, uh, for the NFP report was to to show uh, jobs being created in the region of 250,000 jobs. The actual figure came in at 263,000. It's also worth noting that this was the sixth consecutive time that the NFP report's estimate has been beaten. Uh, and moreover, 
if you remember we also have the unemployment rate being released at the same time as the nft report uh, now the the unemployment rate was expected to remain the same uh, from last month which was a which was to show a reading of 3.7 percent but the actual figure showed a drop uh, in unemployment by 0.2 percent hence a reading of 3.5 percent now this still indicates a pretty strong job market in the u.s hence why some of the stock traders could have reacted negatively on that because like we said this could have reinforced the idea that the fed will be carrying on with the rate hike cycle we're going to have the fomc meeting minutes next week where we're likely going to get some further updates and hints on that as well uh, but looking at the impact of the nfp report itself uh, we're going to switch and lower the time frame down to the 30 minute without even me saying anything i'm pretty much pretty much sure you can already tell at what uh, which candlestick represents the nf report and it is this one uh at 1 30 as you can see at the very bottom of the of the chart uh now going into specifics about uh how how much some pairs dropped uh, we're looking at the euro dollar which fell by 0 0.75 percent or 76 pips in the span of 30 minutes uh, but we also had the pound dollar which fell even further uh, now the pound dollar fell by more than pers more than one percent or 110 pips and again this is just in the span of 30 minutes uh, yet again highlighting the kind of impact uh, that the nfp report can have on on forex pairs and most importantly on the major pairs which are, are pegged against the uh, paired against the dollar as well now this of course doesn't only impact uh, Forex pairs, we also saw the, imp the potential impact that it had on stocks such as AMD, NVIDIA, not just those, but in general uh, stocks across the board as well. Uh, and also some of the commodities were also likely impacted such as oil and gold, uh, which basically leads us to our next asset coverage, which is going to be oil. Now, oil prices, so their largest one week gain since february i'm going to switch this on the weekly time frame so you can see this better so this is a current weekly candlestick you can see that it's pretty much printing more or less similar candlesticks as to what we we're printing back here which was march uh march february 2022 now the reason for this steep rise in prices is because uh, the OPEC came in and decided to cut production quotas by 2 million bar barrels per day. Now, this announcement came in on Wednesday, but as you can see, the impact is still being seen uh, even today because if I switch on the daily time frame, uh, you can see that we started, this is essentially the fifth consecutive day in the green. Uh, now, despite the fact that supplies were already tied, uh, many still expect prices are going to continue rising uh, despite slowing economies. Oil prices, if you want to get into the specifics, uh, they were up by more than 14% or $11.6 at the time of recording uh, the webinar. And this is again on the span of one week. Uh, now, this could have also been impacted a little bit uh, by the, uh, the NFP report, but when you get a pretty uh, strong jobs report which means that the dollar is rising you wouldn't really expect oil prices to carry on rising so we can see which kind of news is is impacting oil prices more which is the fact that we had the opec cutting production quotas by two million barrels per day uh, now if we move on to gold as well at least we can if what we can do is just switch this onto the 30 minute just to see the impact of the nfp report and again you can pretty much tell which candlestick represents exactly that uh, with gold as well prices of gold fell by more than 1.3 percent or 22 dollars during the time of the release again highlighting the fact that the nfp report doesn't just only impact the forex market but it will of course spill over into other markets as we saw the stock market as well as the commodity market as well we'll do the same uh, for oil as well just since we're on the 30 minute time frame uh, and you can see similar story like like we said again we can see which kind of news outweighs uh, or impacts uh, oil prices more which is a fact that again we had the uh, the cut in production quotas from the from the opec 
but we, but yet again we can see that during the time of the release of the NFP um, oil prices still printed a red candlestick which meant that prices went lower at least in the span of those 30 minutes and yeah there you have it this is as far as the look back and review for this week i hope you enjoyed the video and you found it useful and i'll catch you all in the next one until then trade safe